If you want to fall asleep faster and sleep better through the night, you're in the right place because stretching has actually been proven to help with both of those things. And so in this video, I want to guide you through a simple total body stretching routine that you can do at night that's going to help relieve tension in tight muscles, promote relaxation in your body, and ultimately help you to sleep better. Now, all of these stretches should be very comfortable. Remember, our goal here is to promote relaxation, and if you push these into a painful range, then the opposite effect is happening. The only piece of equipment you're going to need is a belt or towel or sheet or rope. We're gonna use that for the hamstring stretch at the very end of this. That being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna start up in the neck with some good neck stretches. We'll do 30 seconds of a head roll. So sit with really good posture. We're gonna tilt the head over to the side and then just move the head through these big, comfortable circles all the way around, all the way up. Really focusing on the breath, taking deep, slow, controlled breaths. I usually do two or three circles one direction and then follow that up with two or three circles in the other direction. Just everything really comfortable. Feel that tension melt out of those upper traps. Then we're gonna follow that up with some shoulder rolls. So really just big circles with our shoulders. This is another great way to promote relaxation in those upper traps, those back muscles, those shoulder muscles. I usually do again about two to three backwards and then we can go two to three forwards. Just really comfortable. And again, just feel that tension melt right out of those upper shoulders. It's a place where a lot of people tend to carry a lot of tension. Our next two stretches are going to be especially useful if you spend time at a desk or hunched over in this position. The first one's going to be for your chest and shoulders. I'm gonna take my left hand and put it on a wall and then rotate away from that just until I get a really good, comfortable stretch right here through the front of my chest, through the front of my shoulder. I'm even trying to open up. I'm trying to open my chest up towards the ceiling to promote a little extension in my back as well. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds here on the left side. Keep the breathing nice and deep, and then we're gonna go 30 seconds on the right side. So now my right hand goes to the wall, and again, I'm just gonna rotate away from that until I get that really just good, deep stretch all through that right shoulder into the right chest. Deep breaths, nice and relaxing as we hold that for 30 seconds. And then our next stretch, we're going to be down on our knees at our bed. This is going to be a thoracic extension stretch. We're gonna work on extending through our upper back. So get down on your knees, place your hands on your bed. And now in this position, we're just going to fall down towards the floor. So I'm letting my chest fall towards the ground. I'm letting my face, my head fall towards the ground just until I get a good stretch all through my lats. So these muscles right here, you're gonna feel it in your back, you're gonna feel it in your armpits. You might feel that in your upper back as well. This is just a great way to, again, reverse the effects of the day. Sometimes, you know, we spend a lot of time on screens, on our phones, on our computers, kind of hunched over in a chair. This is a great way to reverse all of those effects at the end of the day. Again, we're gonna hold this one for 60 seconds. You can even break it up so you can hold it for 20 seconds, take a break, or 30 seconds two times, kind of take some little breaks. Remember to breathe, nice deep breaths, nice relaxing stretch, and that's what we're after. And then our next stretch, let's go ahead and jump up onto the bed. This is one of my favorite stretches for your entire spine to work mobility. We're gonna do a cat camel. So hands and knees, just like this. We're gonna arch the back up towards the ceiling. We're gonna tuck the pelvis underneath you here. We're really gonna try to pull the shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin into the chest. That's the angry cat part of the pose. Now let's get into the camel part. Everything sags towards the floor. Face comes up to the wall in front of you just till we get a really good extension 
throughout the entire spine. And then we're gonna go back to the angry cat again. Hold one, two, three. And then we're gonna go down nice and slow, nice and easy into that camel position. Hold one, two, three. And we're just gonna alternate like this for 60 seconds. Great way to work just mobility into the entire spine, into the upper back, into the lower back. And just get things moving, promote some relaxation, promote some mobility. Just a great stretch at the end of the day. Okay, the next one that we've got for you is going to be a lumbar rotation stretch. So lay down on your back with both your knees bent. We're going to drop both knees over to one side. So right now I'm dropping over here to the left and I'm gonna hold that in just a nice, comfortable, relaxed position for about 15 seconds. There it is. And now we wanna go over to the right. And so feet together, knees together, I got a couple little pops in my back out of that one. And so just until we get just a good, comfortable stretch all through the left side of your back. There's 15 there. Now let's switch back to the left side one more time. We're gonna go 15 seconds here to the left, and then we'll finish with 15 more seconds over to the right. Three, two, one. One more time over here to the right. Remember, nice, deep breaths. We're trying to wind down at the end of the day, We're trying to relax. Looks just like that. Okay, this next stretch, let's roll over onto our left side. This is a good one for the uh, hip flexors and for the quads. With my right hand, I'm going to grab my right foot and then I'm going to pull my foot and my leg back behind me. So you're gonna get a good stretch through the quad muscle, through that thigh muscle on the front, but then if you pull your knee back behind you, you're gonna get that up into that hip flexor as well, right up on the front of your hip. This is a great extra, great stretch. Um, this area gets tight. Again, if you spent the day sitting at the desk, this is a great exercise to get some relaxation into there. There's 30 seconds on the right. You can go ahead and just flip over. I'm gonna flip this way so that you don't have to stare at my back. Now we're gonna do that same thing with the left. So grab that left foot, hook that and just pull that back behind you pull the knee back behind you till we get just again a good comfortable stretch throughout that entire thigh and up into that hip flexor and then we'll finish with one of my favorites for those tight hamstrings so go ahead and grab your strap, your belt, your towel. We're gonna hook the left foot with that, lay down on your back, keep that left leg straight, and then I'm going to use the strap to pull my foot up kind of towards the ceiling, just until we get a good stretch right here through the back of that hamstring. And then we're gonna hold that one for 30 seconds. So we'll do 30 seconds on the left and 30 seconds on the right. Oof, and then we'll be all ready for bed. Looks just like that. Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch that over to the right side now. Knee is nice and straight. I'm using my hands to pull up, pull that leg until I just get, again, a good comfortable stretch right through the back, through the hamstring. You might feel that right behind your knee. We're gonna hold it in that comfortable range for 30 seconds. Nice, deep breaths while you're right here in these stretches. Now again, this is a great nighttime routine. I hope this really helps you to wind down and relax and feel better. I also have a morning stretching routine. If you're interested in checking that one out, it's right here. Subscribe to Tone and Titan by hitting the circle right here. Hope this helps and I hope to see you again soon.